Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. This is chapter number one, the base of all the chapters. But this chapter we always do towards the end. Okay, so towards the end, the MCQs actually become quite easy because most of the things we all have done. In case you all have not joined our Telegram channel, okay, I advise that you all join it for the regular updates for costing and for FM. So let's see what is the MCQ there with us. Which of the following is true about cost control? Okay, now before I'll be doing this, cost control, best example is your chapter of standard costing. How does cost control work? We set the standards. Then we try to perform and then we try to be seeing whether our actuals were as per the standards or not. That is whatever we all do that. In case we all do that, we all have achieved. In case we all do not meet the cost standards, then we all have not achieved. This is whatever is cost control. Okay. So what are the four options? It is a corrective function. Okay. Second, it challenges the set standards. Okay. C. It ends when targets are achieved. Okay. D. It is concerned with the future. Now, you all think, try to comment of the correct answer. And then I would like to be commenting. Okay. Now see. Just one thing you should be knowing about cost control and cost reduction that is there in front of you right now. Cost control is maintaining the cost as per the standards. Cost reduction, we have this calculator which is made by a company called as Casio. They are following standard costing. Their cost is as per the standards but still they would like to reduce the cost. That is nothing but cost reduction. Although this question is not about cost reduction but about cost control but just as a difference. Second. Cost control seeks to attain the lowest possible cost under existing conditions. That means what? Standards are set under existing conditions and we want to be achieving that particular cost. We want to be achieving the cost as low as possible. Now, but cost reduction says we will change the conditions. Example, why to use this plastic? Can we use some other plastic which will not deteriorate the quality of the product but will still reduce the cost? That is cost reduction. Now cost control is all about past and present. Past and present means what here? Standards are set in the past and then we try to be seeing in present are we confirming to those standards or not. But cost reduction is all about trying to control the cost in future. We try to be thinking how much cost we want to be reducing in future today. So therefore it is concerned with present and in future. Cost control is a preventive function. We try to prevent higher cost. But cost reduction is a corrective function. Corrective function means what? In future, to increase our competitiveness, we would like to reduce the cost. Further, cost control ends when targets are achieved. Suppose my standard cost was 5. Actual cost is 5. Cost control is over. But cost reduction is a continuing process. Suppose our standard cost was 5. I reduce the cost to 4.5. Next year, I would like to reduce the cost in this case here to 4. So therefore, it's a continuing process. It never stops as such. So, which of the following is true about cost control? It is a corrective function. No, it is a preventive function. It challenges the set standards. No, it doesn't challenge the standards. In fact, it says that the standards are correct. Okay, we would like to reduce or we like to control the cost. That is whatever it means. Okay. Suppose the standard price is 5. We like to keep cost as 5. It ends when targets are achieved. Yes, this is true for sure. And it is concerned with the future. No, it's concerned with past as well as present. Not concerned. So therefore, out of the four options, I guess C should be the correct one. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye.